go check out bionicchaos.com. Let's get that out of the way. There's lots of interesting tools. Don't forget to provide your feedback. That's a uh, usual spiel, spiel, jumps straight into development. Um, we want to do a simulation of a cochlear implant. Uh, this particularly will focus on the signal processing part. Uh, it will be something similar to that, but uh, interactive. Uh, so we have our uh, prompts in uh, GPT-4. Actually, potentially found a better way of inter interacting with GPTs by like line by line kind of is stuff so we were interacting with uh, AGPT4 through the GitHub Copilot meant to be GPT4 but we not entirely sure might be its uh, own uh, model oh yeah the implementation of that model is quite important so it could be its own thing it does behave differently that's for sure you're yeah, doing cochlear implant simulation generate code the flask application rely mainly on js yeah so we wanna just to save some uh, electricity cost they uh, use microphone pre-recorded uh, voice is right so you can either use a microphone or have a pre-recorded uh, voice or audio being processed by the cochlear implant display sound wave display spectrogram of the sound that should is straightforward we did it before we have applications where we do it for eeg in this case we're doing it for sound that's time series it does shouldn't matter too much and by the way I might actually come up with something more efficient for a uh, for this application because currently it's uh, taking too much resources it's working well but uh, yeah it's actually not even working well because it's uh, sometimes uh, lagging um, yeah, if you scroll too much, I probably have to limit the window size and fix that. Now it's much uh, quicker, so there's just too much stuff happening on this chart where the spectrogram is. Um, so hopefully, and from memory, this thing is retrieving stuff from the server. I actually don't like it. I might want to uh, change that. By the way, sorry for jumping around. Jumping around, that's important for the editing of this video <laughs> uh, later. <laughs> we have uh, like a game of life uh, simulation going. Uh, it's just a fun uh, weekend project, but uh, actually can be quite uh, useful because you can, uh, yeah, modeling, you know, life is uh, must be related to biomedical engineering as well but just something a bit more fun and uh, this one does rely mainly on the javascript we have model of who what happened there i don't know yes sometimes it's this funny business where you move the mouse without clicking it's uh, generating uh, stuff so we have send send behaves really well uh, it's pretty nice uh, then we have water. Yeah, water behaving really well in in the way it flows. However, later for whatever reason, it um, it just disappears. So it's not uh, filling the void. Uh, we have rock as well. So for example, if we uh, place a rock structure there, it should get filled up by. Uh, by water but it's uh, not filling yeah find it so this was the code was created by gpt4 there's a lot of examples of uh, game of life uh, yes yeah, so in theory if we create something like this it should get uh, filled by water and then it should start uh, overflowing as such this is not quite happening yet uh, what else and of course we have a uh, life at the moment yeah so it meant to be following the you know the game of life stuff if you don't know what it is go look it up there will be a lot of examples yeah but currently it's not actually behaving properly so we have to check the code 
might do it in our time. But just just a plug for another potential tool. And what else? What else? What else? Right, so that's the game of life. Let's close it for a sec. It should stop running. Yes. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let's open and have uh, a Visual Studio Code window. A and folder. Yeah, this should be called Cochlea Sim or Simulator. Currently have only two files. Yeah, so that one is an interest, oops, interesting thing. It's just another way of um, interacting with uh, GPT. And we have, uh, yes, we have a uh, spectrum on the sound. Yes, for example, over here we were essentially having the same thing as for the prompt, but you can interact uh, with it on the fly, which is, which is really good. Interact. So, what are the components of the Cochrane plan? Consists of two main components: speech process, internal implant, blah 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 blah. So, yeah, if you, you can go look up uh, Cochrane plan. Uh, I won't be covering the basics. I did my PhD on Cochrane plan, so I should be competent doing this. Um, right. So, we copy the same uh, prompts. Have an option to activate multiple electrodes. Yes. Yeah, it added a bunch. I mean, yeah, it, when when it's adding stuff, it's just like repeating itself over and over again. If last application details, it's that all about yeah, electrode array, output auditor nerve, blah blah. Can uh, display on the same page? Yeah, I want to display everything on the same page. Uh, sometimes it um, defaults to you know having separate HTML pages. Um, user interaction needed. Yeah, so we well, I guess. Primarily, the interaction will be with uh, the interaction will be with the sound, the input sound. Play pause. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Um, ideally, just uh, interact uh, using a microphone, and the simulation be turned into right. And the output of the simulation want to turn it back into sound as well, so you can essentially hear what the um, Actually, a patient with a cochlear implant uh, might be hearing. Can be converted. You can listen to the sound. Yep. It can be all done in JavaScript. Yeah, this I think this is a bit of a stretch. It says yes. Can be so JavaScript can generate sound. Yeah, spectrogram maybe electrode array. Yeah, we need like um, some sort of drawing for it. Uh, what else we've got? output or return even output of the brain so yeah i'm not sure if we we might um um so for example uh, we can uh, shell we use the pre-trained model <laughs> is there a pre um uh, is there a pre-trained model auditor no printer model can be used to calculate response of auditor nerve but this is the one how to smell the output of the brain. A bo bo bo. See model of the auditory system. Yeah, it all makes sense. Um, it's been trained on all these uh, cochlear plant papers. Uh, shall we use a pre-trained model? Yeah. So this way it just starts uh, repeating over itself. Can never see. No, there's no other um, option options. My question actually was, uh, shall we stop? Yeah, the auditory nerve is uh, interesting. Yeah, so it's the each each one of those will be its own, uh, you know, application. So it gets quite uh, complicated. Uh, yeah, shall we stop? No, we should still let the output of the brain. <laughs> I like. No, don't stop. Keep going. The output of the day is important to understand the Cochrane plan effect. Oh. Yeah, it got a point. Share yeah. how to simulate the output of the brain without the Cochrane plan. Yeah, that, that's uh, 
Uh, that will be very interesting. That using the model can be calculate response to brand signals generated. Uh, using model auditor system response to the brain without cooking power. Yeah, it just keeps uh, repeating. Some other different electric configurations. Mm, yeah, let's go in places already. Uh, shall we stop at the, at the electro, electrode array? We'll probably say no, we should simulate the output of the auditory name, a uh, nerve, and the brain as well. Uh, okay, uh, to begin with, yeah, because we need to start somewhere, right? Still saying no. How about if we change it to yes? We should start simulating the output of the electrode array. Yeah. So obviously you can uh, yeah. Still controlling the board, luckily. It's uh, not uh, getting unplugged and uh, you know start chopping people. The output of the electrode array is important understanding the cochlear one simulates the auditory nerve. Yeah, so yeah, we might do that at this stage. Okay, let's go. Uh, GPT-4. It started with some uh, JavaScript example already. So we need a simple blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, here, for example, it generate the files and folders and following commands. Yep, here we have all the required packages we already uh, we must already have them it's interesting because when you ask uh, if you ask um, in the chat we'll actually have a link to the bash a uh, command window which is nice yeah one well, most of this stuff in the javascript let's read this quickly and i've been talking too much based on your Already requirements anyway. for a simulation tool of a cochlear implant ci that processes audio and visually represents the processing stages here's a high level approach on how to structure the flask application and a brief guide on how to implement each component using javascript js html and a bit of python where necessary high level structure one front end HTML, CSS for layout, JavaScript for real-time audio processing and visual updates. Two, backend, Flask server to serve the web pages and handle file uploads. Optional Python backend processes for intensive computations if needed. Three, data flow, use the web audio API for real-time audio input from the microphone or file upload. Process audio data in JavaScript, dividing into frequency bands, detecting envelope and simulating electrode activation. Use Canvas or SVG in HTML for visual representations. Detailed components. One, web audio API setup. Capture audio from the microphone or upload pre-recorded files. Create an audio context and a stream source. Two, audio processing. Implement a bandpass filter bank to split the audio into multiple channels representing different frequency bands. For each band, detect the envelope of the audio signal which simulates how a cochlear implant processes sound. Simulate the amplitude compression typical in cochlear implants. Visual representations display the waveform of the sound. Show a spectrogram for detailed frequency analysis. Visualize the filter banks and the response of each electrode in the array. Dynamically show the activation of electrodes based on the sound input. Four additional interactive features allow users to manually activate, it's like deactivate electrodes to see the effect on the processed sound. Option to synthesize back the audio from the electrode activation patterns requires complex signal processing and synthesis algorithms. 5. Flask server setup. Serve the static files and HTML pages. Handle audio file uploads. Optional, if real-time processing in JS isn't feasible for some heavy tasks, implement these in Python and call from JS. Example, JavaScript code snippet for audio processing. Here's a basic setup to capture audio and create a processing node. JavaScript const audio context equals new audio context. Let audio source navigator.media devices get user media audio true. Then stream audio source equals audio context dot create media stream source stream. Const processor equals audio context dot create script processor 25611. 
processor dot on audio process equals function e let input equals e dot input buffer dot get channel data zero process audio data here audio source dot connect processor processor dot connect audio context destination here visualization with canvas here's how you might set up a canvas to visualize the sound javascript const canvas equals document dot get element by id audio canvas const ctx we canvas dot get context 2d function draw request animation frame draw clear previous drawing ctx dot clear rect zero canvas dot width canvas dot height slash visualization code here draw uh for more complex parts like synthesizing sound from electrode activations or setting up the filter banks you can use prompts like generate javascript code to simulate bandpass filter bank for audio processing how to create a dynamic range compression in javascript for audio signals this setup gives you a good starting point Depending on the complexity and performance requirements, you might need to adjust or offload more processing to the server side. Yeah, just asking uh, GitHub Copilot uh, to generate a template, a generating template for index HTML, and then we go to the JavaScript code. Uh, yes, that main js that's correct and we'll ask github copilot but then we have uh, something from gpt4 as well i'm suggesting a new page we don't want a new page yeah that's just weird that is oh, what making sense i was generating regenerating the html code space you can use the following JavaScript to capture audio and process it to, 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 to. kind of similar to what the GPT-4 generated as well, didn't it? Doesn't it? Declaration was marked as deprecated and it's not good. That's exactly the same. How come? Ah, it's just taking some existing example audio worklet this is dead audio worklet worklets really weird name it's uh, giving us some prompts for copilot so that's in javascript sharing script go to simulate bandpass filter bank for audio processing and we have some frequencies band pass is fine wait they all band pass mm, they will get it in a sec something actually displayed on the html okay we need to allow microphone and nothing is displayed must be an error after use a gesture gesture cat doing a gesture on the page Right, we added an event, the uh, listener, uh, yeah, policy of the browser, okay. Yeah, we need a start button. Can we have a different type of interaction? So I guess this uh, uh, microphone is not filtered, filtered so you can filter. hear yeah. noise no, from the outside and stuff. stuff. Okay, so the start button, you'll see a graph that shows electrical signals being sent to the brain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's quite, quite ambitious, isn't it? Yeah, we're connecting filters in a series. It should be fine. How can I detect the envelope of the audio signal using a web audio API? Create a keynote, create a wave shaper for the envelope follower. Set the curve for the wave shaper. I'm not sure about that. We have our HTML in JavaScript. Just go from here, see what it says. Ensure each filter connects not only to the next filter, but also appropriately to each component, envelope followers, compressors. Your current chaining might miss some connections leading to some filters not properly being processed. The current setup for the envelope followers doesn't actually process any audio signal. You need to ensure the rectifier shapes the signal. You can use a simple function for full wave rectification and then it should be passed through a low-pass filter. Three, visual feedback. For visual feedback, such as the activation of electrodes, 
consider adding visualization code within the draw function that uses the processed audio data to update the canvas. This requires storing the audio data or metrics in a globally accessible object. We only added that button because we need an interaction with the application for the sound to work. It's probably GPT-4 doesn't need the help from uh, Copilot. Uh, can you regenerate the complete updated JavaScript? This is what I currently have. But this code uh, requires re-total refracturing. Make sure the canvas size is adequate for the number of filters and stages you are visualizing. You may need to adjust the bar width and spacing based on the actual number of filters. We yeah, already have visualization logic. Yeah, I want to keep it simple. Can we rewrite the load audio processor function to not use any external JavaScript code? Everything should be contained in this one file. Uh, yes, you can. However, due to the limitation of audio workload, you need to use a set blob and you are a create object you are ready to create. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, just uh, using Copilot to figure out what's going on. Doing this Cochlear implant model, yeah, we have a few problems quite a few i want to make sure the microphone is uh, working correctly don't think it is since there is a small mistake the filter should be connected to the compressor still connect the audio nodes we already have a bad pass audio filter it's getting something, but uh, it's either moving too fast potentially for me to see the changes because I talk too slowly or something. Okay, we have a visualize function. That's not just as a random thing. Okay, this tool might be taking uh, quite a few sessions, which is fine. And nothing is being displayed. Microphones seem to be connected. Okay. But I don't see any envelopes or the sound the amplitude. Should be fairly simple. We got stuck. Yeah, we got, got too. We were asking for too much to begin with. And now we uh, trying to fix the little things. Yeah, we need more debugging. If everything is. Uh, being called correctly. One to one to no. Some sort of initialization problem is it? Time to mention. Uh, go check out uh, binarykills.com. One one visualization is called built as a day. So visualize is called okay. Get rid of the console log. It's not actually helping. Change the code. Teach me. Yeah, the start button. Try audio context. Try navigator. Do what do? The sampling rate so high. Oh snap! Problem with a uh, visualize GPA. They're not creating new analyzer. Not a very cool. Should help with performance. Yeah, we can definitely uh, use a better performance. One, two, one, two, one, one, one. Have something happening, but uh, yeah, it meant to be processing the microphone. One, 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 one. So I want to use a, a main microphone, something out of bounds. Use of analyzer nodes. To provide real-time visual feedback based on the microphone input, analyzer nodes should be integrated into your audio node chain properly and the data should be used effectively in the visualized function. Fix that. No chain, microphone input. Yeah, don't think we're using the microphone input. It's unbelievable that most of the time is just spent on, uh, you know, this little, little tiny bits and bobs. Don't like it. Connect the filter. 
should remove the line where the filter is connected to the analyzer because it's already done. So we're not doing it in visualize this way. Not change that is just effectively in the visualize function. One one one. And no. Did it regenerate a whole code? I didn't ask it to, but okay. I thought we have uh, Copilot doing the actual coding. Then Copilot is also struggling. Analyzer setup. Analyzer nodes are now created during the initial setup and connected to each processing chain. They're used to gather real time data for visualization. This is obviously missing stuff again. Uh, comment everything out so we have it at the bottom the, the new code yeah obviously that's incomplete one 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 to make sure the sound from the microphone is processed in your javascript code for the cochlear implant simulator let's review and refine some parts of your code to ensure effective real-time audio processing and visualization Improvements and checks. Initiate audio processing properly. It looks like the initial steps are correctly set, but let's make sure the audio nodes are properly connected for effective sound processing. Visual feedback and processing updates. Your visualize function is set up to repeatedly call itself using request animation frame, which is good for real-time updates. However, creating a new analyzer node on every call is not efficient and could lead to excessive resource use. Instead, create analyzer nodes once during setup and reuse of analyzer nodes. To provide real-time visual feedback based on the microphone input, analyzer nodes should be integrated into your audio node chain properly and the data should be used effectively in the visualize function. Analyzer setup. Analyzer nodes are now created during the initial setup and connected to each processing chain. They're used to gather real-time data for visualization. Optimized visualization. The visualization now uses the data directly from the analyzers, providing accurate feedback on the processed audio signal. Error handling. Error handling for microphone access and audio context is structured to provide clear feedback. This code optimizes the performance of your audio processing and visualization, ensuring that it functions correctly and efficiently.